factorizing using the array method. This video contains four examples using the highest common factor, grouping, difference of two squares, and quadratic factors. Factorize 6x plus 18y using the array. So we place the 6x and the 18y into the array. We're thinking of factors. What is the common factor of 6x and 18y? They have no letter in common, but 6 and 18, the highest common factor of these numbers is 6. 6 multiplied by x would give us 6x, and 6 multiplied by plus 3y would give us 18y. So we could say the factors of 6x plus 18y are 6 groups of x plus 3y. Or if you multiply 6 by x plus 3y, you get 6x plus 18y. Example 3, by grouping, factorize 6x squared plus 2a minus 3ax minus 4x. There are four parts to this, and that's how we might recognize the by grouping one. We know the answer are going to be two binomials, so we use the quadratic grid, and we place the 6x squared into the first position in the grid. In the opposite corner of the grid, we place the term that is least like the 6x squared, the one that doesn't have maybe common factors. It turns out they all maybe have something in common, but the term least like 6x squared is the 2a term. It has no letter in common with 6x squared, where the 3ax and the 4x do. So I'm going to put the 2a in the opposite diagonal. Now, the other diagonal must contain the other two terms. It makes no difference which one you place where. So I'm going to put the negative 3ax here and the negative 4x here. But this doesn't make a difference. Now, if we look along the, the top row, we're seeing, is there any numbers or letters that are in common with 6x squared and negative 3ax? We can see that 3 goes into both 6 and 3, or negative 3, so 3 is there, and the letter x is common to both terms. So 3x multiplied by 2x gives us 6x squared, and 3x multiplied by negative a gives us negative 3ax. We have a few choices how to find the last term. We could look at the, the highest common factor of the row, or we could say negative a by what gives me 2a, or 2x by what gives us negative 4x. So we have three choices for this, but we can see that we're correct, whichever way we do it. So we would write down our answer. Our factors are uh, 2x minus a times 3x minus 2. Factorize 9x squared minus 4. We might recognize this as the difference of 2 squared. This is because 9x squared can be expressed as 3x multiplied by 3x, or 3x to b squared, and negative 4 is negative 2 multiplied by 2, or negative 2 to b squared. We know that the answer to this from experience of these dots, or difference of two squares type question, would be the two things that are being squared with a plus or minus between them. In other words, the shape of the answer looks like this. It would be 3x minus 2 by 3x plus 2. And when we're familiar with them, it would be okay to write out the answer like this. Let me show you where this solution comes from. We know that the answer is going to be a binomial. It's two parts to it. It's kind of a two linear expressions, if you wish. So it fits into the quadratic grid. If we place the 9x squared in the first part of this grid here, the first box, and in the opposite corner, we place the constant term, the negative 4, just like we do for any other quadratic expression. The square root of 9x squared, in other words, the two factors that are the same size, will be 3x by 3x. These are the factors of 9x squared. The factors of negative 4 that are the same size are negative 2 by positive 2. Now, if we multiply out to find the missing diagonal, we see 3x by 2 is 6x, and 3x by negative 2 is negative 6x. And when we add this diagonal, we get 0x, which is the case. There's no x expression in 9x squared minus 4, 
or it's 9x squared minus 4, 0x. Um, so we see that this is correct. So we can say that the factors are 3x plus 2 and 3x minus 2. Or in other words, if we multiply 3x plus 2 by 3x minus 2, we will get 9x squared minus 4. Example 4, quadratic factors. Factorize 2x squared minus 11x plus 12. We know from experience of multiplying out linear expressions that the solution to this is two linears. The quadratic expression fits into the quadratic array with a 2x squared, the x squared term going in this first box. In the opposite end of this, the other side of the diagonal, we have the constant term, the plus 12. We know this from multiplying out some. The other diagonal, I've colored in yellow here, we know that this must add up to negative 11x. This is where the x term goes. I'm going to use this little area for my rough work. We know that we want our two squares to add up to negative 11x. But we also know from experience that if we multiply one diagonal, it's the same as multiplying the other diagonal. So 2x squared multiplied by 12 gives us 24x squared, and the yellow diagonal has to multiply to the same number. So we start thinking of factors of 24x squared. We know something about these factors as well. We know that when the multiply is going to give us a positive, a positive 24x squared, and when we add, we get negative 11x. So there must be two negatives, and there are two x terms. So we're thinking of factors of 24x squared, we might go negative 1x by negative 24x. That won't work. Then we think negative 2 by negative 12x, and that's not going to work. And then we think negative 3 by negative 8x. And we see that this multiplies to 24x squared while adding to negative 11x. So this is the correct answer. Now we can place the negative 3x and the negative 8x into either place that we want to go. So this is the one that works. So we place the negative 3x in one of the uh, squares and the negative 8x in the other. Looking along the top, is there any common factors between 2x squared and negative 3x? Well, they just have x in common. Then we can see x multiplied by 2x gives us 2x squared. x multiplied by negative 3 gives us negative 3x. And we could say 2x by negative 4 gives us negative 8x or negative 3 by negative 4 gives us positive 12. So there are a couple of ways of thinking about this, and you will know if your answer is correct. So the factors of our given quadratic expression are 2x minus 3 by x minus 4.